So on Monday, we talked about Lauren Boebert's vile and disgustingly Islamophobic remarks about Ilhan Omar. And afterwards, something really interesting happened that kind of caught me off guard. One of Lauren Boebert's colleagues in the Republican Party actually publicly condemned what she had to say. Now, it was a soft denunciation, but nonetheless, it was still a denunciation, which is much appreciated given how vile her statement was. So in a CNN appearance, Nancy May said this, I have time after time condemned my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for racist tropes and remarks that I find disgusting, and this is no different than any others. Now, is she both sides in it? Yes, both sides are not equal here. Is she very tepidly criticizing Lauren Boebert? Does she have the kid gloves on? Yeah, she does. But you know what? I'll take it. It's better than nothing because to just allow this to stand, that really is egregious. It's a new low, um, you know, for modern American politics. And what we need to do is make these sorts of comments socially unacceptable again. And the way that you do that is by calling them out, denouncing them. Now, even though this was a very gentle criticism of Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Greene took offense to it and she took to Twitter to denounce Nancy Mace's denunciation of Lauren Boebert, saying, Nancy Mace is the trash in the GOP conference, never attacked by Democrats or rhinos, same thing, because she is not conservative, she's pro-abort. Mace, you can back off of Lauren Boebert, or just go hang out with your real gal pals, the Jihad Squad. You're out of your league. Now, she is using the incorrect version of your, it should be you are, therefore there should be an apostrophe between the U and the R and an E at the end. But Nancy Mace points this out. She corrects her with the correct version and says, while I'm correcting you, I'm a pro-life fiscal conservative who was attacked by the left all weekend, as I often am, and I defied China while in Taiwan. What I'm not is a religious bigot or racist. You might want to try that over there in your little, quote, league. Now, Mace followed up with a bunch of emojis indicating that Marjorie Taylor Greene is batshit insane, which is absolutely correct. Marjorie Taylor Greene then spoke to the Republican Party's manager about Nancy Mace. She told on her to Daddy Trump, to which Mace then responded saying, don't look now, but it's Marjorie Taylor Greene unable to take the heat, running to the principal's office to tattletale because she can't stand on her own two feet. Bless her heart. Now, I'm so sorry to have to do this, Nancy Mace, because I'm rooting for you in this particular exchange. Like, I disagree totally with your politics and I unequivocally denounce fiscal conservatism. But I have to say this, it's the wrong version of principle which you, which, you, which you used. Now, she does point this out, but I mean, since you pointed out the grammatical error made by uh, Marjorie Greene, I felt like it was a responsibility for me to point that out. Perhaps I'll misspeak later on in this video and my viewers can uh, you know, correct me and then we'll keep the trend going. But either way here, you know, even if I disagree with Nancy Mace, you can tell... Who's more adult? Who's more reasonable? Who's more intelligent? And it's not Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now, in an interview with Steve Bannon on his show War Room, uh, Marjorie Greene took things so much further than even Lauren Boebert. Not only did she say that Lauren Boebert was wrong to apologize to Ilhan Omar, even if that apology was kind of a non-apology and half-assed, but she also made a lot more allegations against Ilhan Omar which in many ways are worse than what Lauren Boebert said. This is truly unhinged. Take a look. But here you've got this situation. I don't know why Boebert apologized to her. I don't. I, I don't understand the apology. But I don't given, think given she the have apologized. given the jihad nature, given what the jihad squad says all the time on right. hate towards Israel, hate towards the United States, hate towards our values. You absolutely. You have Ilhan Omar, who are, she herself said people did some something on about 9-11 yeah p some people did something and then she's also she hates israel she's pro hamas she's pro al-qaeda she's she's basically an apologist for islamic terrorists there is no need to apologize to that woman because she will never stop she she's bloodthirsty she wants republicans completely taken out. She wants Republicans jailed. She does not care about our country. She's anti-American. she wants you guys all off committee. She doesn't want oh, you have yeah. any voice at all. No, and so so Lauren Lauren tried tried that route, but it will never be enough for them. It is never enough for the Democrats. It's never enough for Ilhan Omar. It's never enough for the Jihad squad. Nothing is good enough for them. It, she, no one could bow deep enough for them to be satisfied because they want all of us gone. Okay, but here here's what I think we need to focus on. 
is the Democrats, you don't see any Democrat or any quote-unquote moderate Democrats, Spanberger in Virginia 7, Lurie in Virginia 2, you don't see any moderate Democrats ever come after the Jihad squad. They let them go, and they have their back. That's They're right. not off committees. Oh, no, they They're not off them. committees. They defend them. By Ilhan way, they... Omar committed immigration fraud. She married her brother. Married her brother. That's the most disgusting thing. We don't do that in our country. I'm sorry, American women, we don't marry our brothers. But Ilhan Omar married her brother so she could get him in the country, which is repulsive. And then this woman is constantly attacking our ally Israel, constantly defending terrorism. And she even posted the Minnesota Freedom Fund bail bond link to bail out domestic terrorists when her own city was on fire. This is one of the worst members of Congress. She's a disgrace to our nation. And then here we have Nancy Mace stepping up and attacking Lauren Boebert simply because Lauren Boebert had said something about Ilhan Omar. It's like no big deal. No one cares. These people say worse things about us they call us all kinds of names they call us white supremacists they call well, us racist they call us insurrectionists and those are those are nasty words that none of us are none of us are those things so when nancy mace goes out and wants to attack lauren bobert yeah she deserves to be called out because nancy mace is the one out of line pandering on cnn to democrat yeah, donors she goes on the opposition uh, opposition party network which is what it is Values. I genuinely lost so many IQ points listening to that rant. But ask yourself this. Does that sound like somebody who is a well-adjusted, emotionally stable adult? This woman is mentally ill. No. It sounds like somebody who's batshit fucking insane. It sounds like somebody who is comparable to Alex Jones when it comes to levels of intelligence. But I think that Alex Jones might even be more intelligent You're stupid. than her. Like, that was... A ranting of somebody who is very, very deeply unwell. <laughs> and she's in Congress. She has political power. And notice how the things that she says about Ilhan Omar, she just flippantly makes things up. She says that she's pro-Hamas, pro-Al-Qaeda. Ilhan Omar is pro-Al-Qaeda. She's basically an apologist for Islamic terrorists. There's no need to apologize to that woman because she will never stop. She's bloodthirsty. She wants Republicans completely taken out. So you're saying that Ilhan Omar is uh, pro-Al-Qaeda and like Al-Qaeda, she wants Americans to be killed, specifically Republicans, because she's bloodthirsty. There has to be accountability for this. This is slander. I think that if... Ilhan Omar were to bring forward a defamation lawsuit, there's no way she wouldn't win that. Because that is absolutely nonsensical. And her evidence is, well, Ilhan Omar one, one time said, some people did something referencing 9-11. Now, we already know the context of that. We know that she was making a broader point about demonization of Muslims in America because some bad people did something that was horrible. That doesn't mean that all Muslims are guilty. But you're proving the point she was making there. Maybe you should go back and watch it, but it doesn't matter because it wouldn't resonate with you. It wouldn't even go into your skull because you're, you're dense. You're stupid. You have a low IQ. She then goes on to say, Ilhan Omar committed immigration fraud. She married her brother. That's the most disgusting thing. We don't do that in our country. American women, we don't marry our brother. Now notice how she made a distinction between women and American women because that suggests that Ilhan Omar is not a real American. She's a real American. But Ilhan Omar, not a real American. So, I mean, at this point, you can just make things up about Marjorie Greene because that's the standard that she's creating. There is as much evidence that Marjorie Greene uh, married her brother as there is evidence that Ilhan Omar married her brother. I mean, she's literally just making random things up about Ilhan Omar. Fine, let's make things up about Marjorie Green. Um, she's into bestiality. She has a fecal fetish. She um, has fucked a pig before, specifically a pig, a pig named Jerry. Um, she, on top of that, she licks uh, toilet seats whenever she's on airplanes. I mean, we can, we can just, all day, we can make things up about Marjorie Green because that's the standard that she's setting. Now, I don't want to live in that type of a country where we make things up about one another because... That's just, that's gutter politics. That's trash. I want to live in a society where we make claims based on facts and evidence. And all she's saying there is slander. That's all it is. So not only should there be ramifications, repercussions, real accountability for what she's saying here, but if I'm Ilhan Omar, I'm fucking suing her. I'm lodging a, a defamation lawsuit against her. 
you're slandering her in a way that isn't just character assassination. This is taking it to an extreme to where you are actually endangering her life, to where you are inciting violence against her. Because if you're saying she's pro-Al-Qaeda, then Americans are going to be thinking that they're justified if they choose to harm Ilhan Omar. I mean, this is truly beyond the pale. But it's not surprising for these two dipshit lawmakers, Marjorie Green and Lauren Boebert. It's not surprising that they're also both QAnon adjacent. They were former members of QAnon, if not still current members of QAnon. So, and, and that's not slander, by the way. That's based on facts. That's based on them. But, I mean, it's just the fact that this is tolerated and she doesn't have so much pressure put on her because she said this, that she resigns, speaks to how broken we are as a country. But that's truly, that shouldn't be tolerated. It shouldn't be accepted. She should resign. Uh, she should be completely removed from Congress, expelled forcefully, because that's not okay. There's a difference between criticizing someone based on their policies and committing outright character assassination and slandering them. That's not acceptable. So, yeah, I'm honestly, like, even though it's uh, Marjorie Greene, I'm still a little bit taken aback because she, she takes it so much further than Lauren Boebert. It's like, is there anything that she won't say? Like, most people, they have a filter. They'll think something, and before it reaches their lips, you know, there's a filter that stops them from saying the most absurd thing. But Marjorie Greene has no filter. And if she's saying this publicly, imagine what the fuck she says behind closed doors. I mean, I can only imagine. I don't want to imagine, but... I mean, this is truly morally reprehensible, and even though I hate GOP fuckheads, I hope that Nancy Mace wins this battle, but ultimately, if you're a Republican lawmaker, the dumbest always wins. So, you know, you better hope that you um, have more people that are willing to speak out and defend you, because now that you have, um, you know, stoked the, or what's what's the saying? Like, you, uh, you attacked a bee's nest. It's not attack. There's some word for it. I don't know why I'm blanking on it, but you, you've you awoken the beast, right? And now they're going to come after you. So you better hope that other GOP colleagues are as brave as you are to speak up because they will destroy your career and they will force you into resignation if you don't hold strong. So yeah, this is just, American politics is so fucking stupid. I mean, imagine an era where we're not just like talking about how somebody loves terrorism and we're actually debating the specifics about economic policy wouldn't that be lovely i mean that's how politics should be in a functioning society but we're not a functioning society we're a society that is in turmoil for a plethora of reasons and you know marjorie green is an ugly face that perfectly represents our broken political system mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.